Do you think it's possible that if enough people came together in meditation as a group, that it could affect our external physical world? It's no secret that meditation has enormous benefits for our inner state of consciousness. But is it possible that somehow this could be reflected outwards in our collective consciousness, in our collective experience of reality? As it just so happens, a group of researchers in Washington, D.C. set out to answer exactly this question. They set up an interesting experiment to investigate the possible social effects of large groups of meditators. Over the span of two months, 4,000 trained meditators came together in Washington, D.C. and meditated together twice a day. Meanwhile, the researchers monitored a range of social statistics and standards of living in the city. And what they found was pretty incredible. After the study began, violent crimes in Washington, D.C. began decreasing. And not only that, but these crimes dropped dramatically by more than 20% at one point. Now, there's also no way to prove that the 4,000 meditators caused the decrease in crime. However, consider that this study has since been replicated in other cities across the world more than 40 times with similarly remarkable outcomes. This phenomenon came to be known as the Maharishi effect, named after Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, who introduced transcendental meditation to the Western world and who theorized that if 1% of a population came together in meditation, it would produce concrete social benefits and increase standards of living for everyone in the population. And you know, to me, the findings of this research is not strange or mysterious. It makes a lot of sense because everything is interconnected. This phenomenon, this Maharishi effect, points to the underlying fundamental oneness and unity of existence. Beneath the surface of this physical universe, there is a quantum field of energy where everything exists as a unified whole. And you and I are expressions of that infinite source energy, as is everything else in the universe. So it's a simple fact that we don't exist as individuals. We exist as a collective, a collective consciousness, even though usually we can't directly perceive that unity, that oneness. So our outer world really is a reflection of our inner world because they are deeply interconnected and intertwined, and not only that, but they are one. They are one. All is one. And I talk about this in my, one of my previous videos called The Unified Field, where our external reality in many ways is a reflection of our internal reality. For example, this was demonstrated by the research of Dr. Masaru Emoto, who found that certain emotions and certain thoughts and intentions can concretely, physically affect the molecular structure of water. Likewise, as another example, our inner state of consciousness concretely affects our physical body, our physical health. For example, elevated levels of stress result in a whole range of ailments and illnesses. So this video is an invitation and a request to you to find some time in your day to locate a feeling of peace, stillness, compassion, gratitude, love. Because to bring that into your body in the present moment, to bring that into your body is to bring it into this world, into the collective consciousness. And let's come together and do that more often. 
Because when we come together in group meditation, when we share these higher states of consciousness, when we create these spaces of peace and love and compassion, that has an amplifying effect. We amplify each other's energy, and that is powerful and transformative in ways beyond what we can even perceive. And I really think that group meditation, mass meditation, has the power and the potential to transform our shared social reality. And humanity needs transformation right now because Mother Earth is suffering and there is too much conflict in our world and unnecessary suffering that we are causing each other, our own brothers and sisters, our own human family. <laughs> world peace will come about through a transformation of consciousness which begins within each one of us. World peace begins within each one of us.